Senator Hatch always oh, we'll say that when they come together and co-sponsor a bill, it's obvious that one of them hadn't read the bill. <laughs> <laughs> In this case, it appears both have read the bill and we're very pleased to, uh, to work with them. The present 100 to 1 disparity produces bizarre results. Um, weekends worth of crack can result in a five-year mandatory minimum sentence. The larger, slightly larger amounts, even when you're just technically involved with the conspiracy. As Kimber Smith, the young lady from my district, was, her boyfriend was dealing, and she might have taken a message, might have taken him to a, uh, to a site or something, so she was technically involved in the sentence. And because of these bizarre mandatory minimums, she received a sentence of 24 and a half years. Thankfully, commuted uh, after uh, after seven, after six or seven years by President Clinton, but a sentence of 24 and a half years under those circumstances was actually was, there's no justification for that. There's been found to be no pharmacological difference between crack and powder, and in fact, the difference produces other bizarre results because since it is the same thing, when it becomes crack, it's further down the distribution network. So the kingpin who's dealing in powder gets a lighter sentence. The guy on the street, because he's dealing in crack, gets a more serious uh, sentence. Uh, there is unfortunately a racial disparity, where 80% of the crack defendants are African American, only about 30% of the powder defendants are African American. And when you have this differential, without any other justification, it just uh, wreaks dis uh, disrespect on the on the process. So this uh, this bill is not perfect, and in, in, in my judgment, the ratio there should be no uh, difference. It ought to be one to one. I don't think there ought to be any mandatory minimums. In this case, we did eliminate the mandatory minimum for possession only. Uh, this is the only drug for which possession only can get you a mandatory minimum sentence. We eliminated that, so we still have a mandatory, mandatory minimum. It also addresses another thing, and that is we ought to be 